Hi there, Sonia Buena de la Torre here and today I want to talk about compassion and I'm also going to share something about me that you might not know. In 2011 I was in the Dominican Republic for one week and I was there by myself and I took my meditation cushion with me um, as I meditate for many years and uh, so I was sitting one day on my bed on my meditation cushion and I was meditating and a phrase came into my space whatever you want to call it and it was called poem for the soul so this was just resonating there as given to me somehow poem for the soul and it was keep kind of like seeing it hearing it and at some at some point I heard a message get up and write and I was sitting there and it was like yeah sure so I didn't get up and write but uh, so I was sitting there still meditating having that poem for the soul and this message um, was very strong I said get up and write and at some point I said okay I get up and write so I went outside to my little apartment living room where my laptop was on the table so I was sitting there on the table and in that meditative state that I was I wrote a poem called poem for the soul and that might not sound like oh my god this is so incredible first of all i don't like poems first of all the to write a poem for me was the most ridiculous thing i would have ever thought of i'm not english native to write a poem in english was even more ridiculous so but it was such an incredible experience because i felt that the 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 poem came from a higher source from a higher place of my consciousness it was literally given to me i would have never chosen to write something like that i would have never thought of sitting down and writing a poem and when the poem was finished it was so incredibly special i only shared it i think with two or three really close people that i knew they would appreciate and they would understand what was actually happening because it was an opening and i've been on my spiritual path for many many years and i was excited afterwards the poem was i thought the poem was beautiful it didn't matter what anybody would ever say about it it was something magical and I was the rest of the day like floating, like flying. I felt amazing. I would even say it was one of the most incredible days in my life. The next day it happened again. I was a little bit already not sure will it happen, will it not. I was kind of like excited um, and it happened again. And throughout that week I wrote a few poems. And all were just, I, I say they were given to me, but I accessed something within myself that I didn't know was there. I access something that I think it's a gift but that I cannot choose consciously or on purpose to do it. It's something that happens. And when I got back home I, I think I wrote a few more poems like I didn't write like I think I don't know exactly like maybe 10 or something and then I got sick. I got sick here at home and then afterwards it was gone like it just didn't happen anymore and uh, I was sad about it but I also knew you know it, it was an opening and it, it was a, I didn't really know if that would ever happen again and um, for over I think for most of yeah for nearly a whole year I didn't do anything with the poems I th only two or three people knew about them and I felt like they were part of my own journey and of my own healing. In 2012, I felt that these poems were not just for me. They were meant for the world and I was supposed to share them. So I started to share them bit by bit, a little bit here, a little bit there. It was still challenging because it's something so precious or it was something so precious and intimate and, um, and not for everybody. But I started to, to do that a little bit more and more and I end up to write a few more poems. And why I'm sharing this story and that is just the nutshell of the whole experience that I had with it is because I wanted to share something specifically with you today and I wanted to give you a little bit of background why I actually have a poem to share today and why, it is it, why it's related to compassion. 
And in a moment, um, I'm going to read one of my poems to you. It's one of my uh, newer poems um, that I wrote. I think I might even have wrote this one this year or maybe late year 2012. And it's about compassion. And I truly believe that if we have more compassion, our world would be a better place. But I do also know, or it's my experience, my belief, that compassion starts within yourself. Because you only judge something in somebody else that you don't accept about yourself or that you deny that you have. And <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> I think I just swallowed a bug. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, compassion starts within ourselves. The more you accept yourself, also your flawed stuff, your dark side, whatever you want to call it, the more compassion you have for another person. And you accept these things when you understand them. So you need to have a, a deeper understanding of why you do certain things that you might judge in order to accept them and to be compassionate about yourself. The more you are compassionate with yourself, the more you can have compassion with other people and the world around you. So it's, it's very important to really look inside and find that compassion and self-love within yourself. Because I truly believe every problem, if you kind of like break it down, comes from a place that's a lack of uh, confidence, self-worth, compassion, and um, we would increase or enhance any area of our lives, relationship, business, health, um, whatever else. Uh, I can't come up with anything else right now. But your personal uh, life, your spiritual life, your emotional life, your relationships, your, your workplace, everything is better when you like yourself. It's about how you feel about yourself. Life is a reflection on how you feel about yourself. Like if your life sucks all the time, I'm sure you don't feel great about yourself. If you have a good feeling within yourself, you perceive life in a different way. And that's how compassion actually starts. And you can practice compassion um, regardless of working on yourself but I think most effectively is that you have compassion within yourself then you can spread it with other people and you become more compassionate and accepting accepting with other people and one of the things and I just shared that a moment ago is we don't want to see what we don't like about us. It's just like it's, it's, it's sometimes hidden in the subconscious. For example, think about one thing that you don't like about a person. It could be, oh, this person is so arrogant or this person is so mean or this person is a liar or whatever it is. We often don't want to see that we also have that quality in us, that we also do that sometimes, that there is something in us that's arrogant, mean, selfish, whatever it is, but we want to deny it, so we put a, a lid on top of it so that we don't have to face it. But only by us facing it, we get that compassion and acceptance because we are everything. Yeah, we are the good and the bad and the light and the darkness and we have everything. And only with awareness, you can then consciously also choose to go more into the light. Because as long as you deny it and you suppress it, you might end up living more of these dark places without you knowing it. Because it's subconsciously ruling your life. I hope that all makes sense. It took a little bit longer um, before I share this poem. But I, I, it was important to me to share a little bit of the background. Although I think the poem itself express it, it expresses it very nicely. And the poem is called Being Kind. And I'm going to read it to you out loud. Take a nice deep breath. Just tune in for a moment. Center yourself. Focus on your breathing. Come into your state of openness and centeredness. Yeah, just take one more nice deep breath. 
And just allow yourself to receive the words in whatever way resonates with you. Being kind. The world does need more kindness, more compassion and light. But inside we are fighting and we want to be right. We deny and we judge what we don't want to see as a part of ourselves that we don't want to be. Being kind starts within us by accepting what's there. We do all sometimes lie. We are mean and not fair. Even though often shameful to admit and to face, we create true compassion when we start to embrace. By embracing our darkness, we can live our light, helping others to shine for their soul to ignite. Being kind brings us peace. It connects and it heals. It's inspired by love and so precious it feels. Look inside and be brave. Face these parts and be kind. And compassion for you and the world you will find. Thank you very much for staying here with me. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to the world. Much love.